Hi everyone, it's me once again and welcome to the Alan Kane's Daily Blog YouTube channel. Yeah, went out into town today and uh, had a walk round. Yeah, w you know, when is Blackburn with Darwin going to get it? And I mean, get it. Um, I'll just turn this down a minute. The TV, that is. Because of late, they haven't been getting it at all. Um, you know, when are they going to start pulling the socks up? And cleaning the town up. I was walking down Lark Hill Lane today and I should have got some I should have got some footage of it. There was literally crap everywhere. There was plastic bottles, crisp packets, sweet wrappers, you name it, it was there. Even Laughing gas, uh, laughing gas containers. Yeah, there was those as well. Um, to be truthful, where Blackburn's going, it doesn't deserve city status at all. Yes, I've said this before, and I'm saying it again. It's about time that Blackburn, well gets off its ass and cleans itself up because to be, uh, as I'm being truthful about about it uh, it doesn't deserve it it does not deserve it and also um, Blackpool <laughs> I'm sorry to say this yeah, a lot of your shopkeepers are, well, new new shopkeepers setting businesses up and everything. Yeah, they're doing pretty, pretty well. But what is not doing pretty well is th these so-called developments. When are they going to get started? Um, basically, a lot of them who are proposing these uh, new, you know, new uh, attractions and stuff, when are they going to start doing them? Basically, I bas bas basically think they're just full of just full of pee and wind. And but they should have started taking down the old police station by now. Matter of fact, it should be down by now. But a lot of the videos I've been seeing coming out of Blackpool are, um, shall we say, there is basically nothing happen. Nothing. Nothing is happening. You know, you really need to get some major companies in there and start and start the demolition work. And uh, yeah, a lot of the housing in the behind behind the uh, promenade, even parts of the promenade need knocking down and rebuilding. Um. The major thing is Blackpool. You've got the competition of foreign holidays. And, you know, like places like Tenerife, Lanzarote, can basically give you uh, the same type of holiday, but for a lot less. 
And it's about time that Blackpool and other resorts start started pulling the finger out their ass and getting the getting it done. Because I must say this to the, to the leadership of Blackpool Council and and the councillors of Blackpool. If you really want to get things done, get your finger out your ass and start do, cleaning the uh, town up. Get rid of all the grotty, grotty uh, places like I think it was. Um, what was it? Central Drive, yeah. All Central Drive. It needs cleaning up. It's a mess. And all the houses at the back, the, especially the uh, the guest houses. A lot of the guest houses do not come up to a quality act uh, standards. And a lot of them you can't get a wheelchair in. A lot of them, you know, are very cramped. A lot of them have very narrow corridors. You can't get a wheelchair up there, you know. None of them have so-called lifts in. You know, stair lifts and stuff. And a lot of them look really grotty. I'm sorry, but it's the way that it is. Majority of the majority of the areas in Blackpool need ripping down and redoing. You know, even some of the how even some of the guest houses on the sea front. Also, you should be clamping down on on grotty, dirty hotels. I know it's a big, it's a big, uh, big ask, but this is the reason why you're not getting the holiday makers. And a lot of the hot hotels, you know, the grimy. If you just go around the corner from from uh, from where you are on Talbot on Talbot Road, you know, half a Talbot Road needs ripping down and rebuilding. It's a mess. Um, the um, Holiday Inn that's going up, right? If you just go across the road, if you just go across the road, just after. Mark Kelly's is just a bit further up. There's some old hotels there. They've been boarded up for years. Uh, take them down. Take them down and build a new hotel that get a, a hotel chain to come and, um, and build a new hotel there. Also, the there was a hotel featured... On YouTube, I think it was the New Hackett's Hotel, the one with the f that had a fire. Um, yeah, a company was interested. In, uh, a Kerr company was interested in getting that and uh, redeveloping it as the um, as that started yet. <clears throat> well, Blackpool Council, your town's a mess. An absolute mess. You know, if you want people to come there, you know, tidy it up. You know, and start getting these new attractions up. Because just saying you got new attractions coming... You know, uh, you know, you need to get it done. Need to get it done, and tell these companies that if they, you know, 
thinking of investing in Blackpool, hurry up, get it done. And also, uh, there's a thing called Bingo 3000, and there's quite a few unfinished building sites in your area. Uh, did you not think it's about time that you got some people in and finished them, finished them uh, sites off? Because, you know, it's. I'm sorry, but Blackpool's turning into a slum. It's turning very ghetto. Yes, we know that Blackpool has a drug and alcohol problem. But, you know, if you start, if you start to clean the place up and, uh, well, p- get some high right, get some high rise up. And uh, that's the biggest thing you've um, that you've got wrong at Leighton. You knocked the flats down at Leighton. You should have kept them up. You know, you should have kept them up and basically put s- some tower blocks on the edge of edge of the resort, and uh, yeah. Just to keep, and that would keep all the riff raff from coming into the coming into the uh, resorts town centre. Yeah, Blackburn's no better. Blackburn's no better indeed. The major problems that Blackburn has, they can't keep the place clean. They just cannot keep the place clean, and there's places like Basswell. Um, Mill Hill. Uh, where else was there? Yeah. Even parts of the town centre. Only, only parts of the town centre that they do keep clean is the cathedral quarter, and that is it. The town really needs a good, good, clean. And a deep clean as well. And also, um, people who are fly tipping. To be truthful, you're not being harsh enough. You are not being harsh enough. The fines should be three to four times what they are. Even for a first offence. So get your finger out your ass, Blackburn, and uh, yeah, there was also um, quite a few people putting posts in the Telegraph how bad Blackburn is. The only when I did a search right on Blackburn. All it came up with is this. White, black and white checks. What the hell are them? The spinning Jenny isn't exactly present. Uh, somebody, somebody called... Well, a, a guy gave a, a eulogy at uh, a certain coin exchange, etc. And and Blackburn Rovers football club who have never ha- who have never won a Premiership uh, uh, Premiership title since Jack Walker left died. Um, Alan Shearer is a traitor to Blackburn Rovers because he went to Newcastle. Uh, Carl, there's a guy called Carl Fogarty. He's only been supered by champion all night. I think it's, I think it's twice. Not really significant. And uh, yeah. And and. The other one was uh, Jack Straw bringing Condoleezza Rice to 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 Blackburn. Poor girl was bored stiff, 
and uh, what what else was it? Oh yes, uh, nine thousand potholes in nine thousand potholes in Blackburn, Lancashire. They had to count them all. A line from a Beatles song. Come on, Blackburn, you can do better than that. You know, you've not you've right. I've been going f- through some of the companies that are here. You've only got three aerospace companies, and your technology uh, park is a joke. You know, um, it's not brilliant. It's not brilliant at all. Matter of fact, it's made up of companies that are. Uh, uh, who are they? You know, and yeah, and a lot of your areas are like slums, the ghettos. So get your finger out your backside and get it, get this town sorted. Well, I'm gonna get going. So it's three, two, one, click. <laughs> 